Business news now. More than 90% of the world's trade is carried by the sea. An organization of American states representative to Barbados, Francis McBurnett, says this shows the importance of ports to the global supply chain. He says in turn, it shows that ports can provide lucrative environments for illegal activity. Now, Mr. McMurdin was beefing up uh, security at ports of entry is therefore critical to business and countries at large. It is therefore incumbent on us to properly assess security risks and implement corresponding security measures. In order to effectively mitigate the risk of becoming targets for these kinds of threats, it is critical that we harden these facilities by enhancing security capabilities and frameworks and implementing policies that strengthen the competence of our most important asset, our human resource. The manager of the Inter-American Committee on Ports says her organization constantly monitors gaps in a continuously changing maritime sector. This is in a bid to secure and alert the systems they have put in place at the various ports. This is why we are committed to paying special attention to the complex challenges the Caribbean faces that are unique to its region. It is vital that in the Caribbean we identify risks that could impact our ports and develop sound risk mitigation strategies and also identify means of cascading response capabilities from neighboring countries. The Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry will be zooming in on the growth of medical marijuana as a potential money earning sector. The topic of medical marijuana has provoked much heated debate as the issue of legalizing the use of ganja for medical purposes is advancing. Several Caribbean and international countries have already taken steps to maintain this herb more readily available to users. The BCCI will host its annual general meeting and luncheon around the issue on May 29th at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center. The featured speaker will be Dr. Michelle Emanuel of the Department of Life Sciences at the University of the West Indies Mona campus. Okay, time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across our region. In Jamaica, Supreme Ventures Limited was the volume leader with 812,464 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, NTB Financial Group Limited was the volume leader with 69,200 shares changing hands, all for a value of $584,740. And in Barbados, Goddard Enterprises Limited was the volume leader, trading 8 1,501 shares at $3.25 each.